Do you have small ears or do your earbuds fall out or hurt with extended use? This can be stressful, especially if you've invested in a pair only to experience one of these issues. And I think I might have found the solution for you. These buds don't fall out. They don't hurt your ears. And most importantly, they are affordable. Something you can't say for the latest models. Design plays a major role in comfort. Similar to the Buds Plus, they have wingtips allowing them to easily hook onto your inner ear, ensuring they don't fall out while you're running, eating or talking. You get three microphones on the buds, one on the inside to enhance call quality and two on the outside for ambient sound and ANC. You can definitely see the benefit of the extra in-ear microphone. I wouldn't say it's game changing, but it's not bad either. If you're in loud places, you may notice you have to speak louder for your friend to hear you. I've made some samples for you to hear, one indoors, one outdoors and one simulating a noisy environment near a main road. This is a moderately quiet room and I don't even know why I'm shouting, don't ask. Uh, probably because I can't hear myself with the buds in because I've got noise cancelling on. And how do I sound? Do I sound acceptable? Could you have a nice conversation with me? Could we talk, vibe, you know, talk life out and let me hate on you for five minutes? The main road is over there and I'm outside in my back garden. How do I sound? Trees? Nature, I'm overexposed, aren't I? So, this is the outside, it's very windy, and there are no shoes, and I'm not wearing any shoes, but that's not important. Fuck, shit! Uh. While you're on call, you may also notice that ambient sound will automatically enable, and if it doesn't, be sure to check you have it on in settings. It's a good feature to have, as you're aware of your surroundings while on call but you also notice the buds may die faster than expected. From my experience, I was seeing four hours on a single charge before the buds gave out, leaving me no choice but to hot swap the buds to prevent both of them from dying. If you want to see longer call times, then I recommend switching this feature off in settings, as I find myself automatically doing this to enhance battery life. With the buds FE, according to Samson, you get six hours on a single charge and close to 30 hours with a case, providing three charges to the buds with the case. From my experience, I see around about five hours on a single charge and 28 hours with the case, but that's plenty to get me through the solid day of use. And I won't have to worry about them dying on me. And if they do, in a way, you are screwed. For Samsung to lower the price, sacrifices had to have been made. One of them is the lack of wireless charging. Initially, I thought this was a deal breaker for me as I thought it would take away from the simplicity of owning the buds, having to carry an extra cable. Personally, I don't mind. Carrying an extra cable as a reversed wire charging offers more wattage and in some ways is more efficient, meaning you take less of a major hit on battery life. But that shouldn't really be a major issue for you because the buds are exceptional. However, what isn't is audio quality and it's quite clear Samsung cut corners to make the Buds FE worse than the rest of their lineup. For me, this bothered me at first, going back to the Buds Live to get that clarity, then switching back to the Buds FE to hear those harsh highs, especially when you're listening to metal music. The Buds FE didn't cut corners when it came to bass though. They are low, punchy, giving some headroom for an EQ adjustment, leaning the audio more towards the low end. It made my listening experience more tolerable, as the harsh highs weren't as prevalent as before the adjustment. I think if you get these buds, I would definitely recommend you adjusting the EQ. Adjusting the EQ for more of a pleasant listening experience. And if you look past that, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised of the comfort the Buds FE have to offer. The Buds FE's comfort is unparalleled compared to any Samsung bud I've tested so far. They feel secure and offer a decent seal, giving me consistent audio something I can't say for the Galaxy Buds Live. If you notice they hurt when you wear them, then you most likely don't have the correct fit, as your ear tips may be too big or too small, especially if you have small ears, like me. I know bigger ear tips can be tempting, as they provide a better seal, therefore better noise counselling, but you'll also notice that the wingtip hurts your upper ear, and if it wasn't for the wingtip, they would have just fallen out, causing pain after three to one hours of listening time. This issue disappears when you change to smaller ear tips, if you're looking for a better and more comfortable seal. And if you're looking for a better seal, I think it's best to browse for some memory foam ear tips that can create the seal without the pain. When it comes to noise counselling and ambient sound, I was actually pretty surprised. Wind rejection had improved, as the buds adjust the amount of A and C to combat the wind noises 
This means you'll begin to hear the lows again. To hear this in action, all you will need to do is sit in front of a fan. This update has created the perception that Samson has made ANC worse, and for a while, I thought that too. But as I listened more and more, I noticed that rather than cancelling everything out, the Buds FE tried to neutralise the audio around you, meaning that you will hear slightly more leakage than before. This results in better ANC performance and better music playback when ANC is enabled, especially if you're in a loud environment. Some songs, especially those with highs, sounded distorted and had a slight crisp to them, especially at high volumes. And this issue has been improved, but is, is still there in a way. You, you will still notice it. Ambient sound has also been improved, counselling out loud noises that can make you deaf, like sirens and loud music. Before the update, I had to turn ambient sound off and I still have to turn it off, but not as often. It takes a good one to three seconds for the Buds FE to detect the loud sound and reduce the volume. So by the time it's adjusted, you've already gone deaf. Good one, Samson. To control your music, a double tap to skip, a triple tap to replay the song and a hold for ANC control. The touchpad is inaccurate at times and I find myself confused when my clear double tap is interpreted as a triple tap. To fix this, you can disable this in settings, and after that, it did work, but for the sake of simplicity, I just turned it off and used my phone. Let's talk about price. The Buds FE can be found for around about $100 to $40, depending where you look. I got mine for $40 second hand, and it was brand new condition, so I got mine for a bargain. If you enjoyed this video, there will be a video on screen, and I've picked that video for you, what I think you'll enjoy most out of my content, so I hope you like it, and I'll see you there.